lot of comedy sketches are based on current events, basically parodying what's in the news. So, to find events to parody, I watched a certain network, I forget what it's called, but it advertised itself as being fair and balanced. And what I found was this really interesting, intellectual, nuanced conversation about the president. It's really interesting. Check it out. He gives a speech with logic to give all of us a scare. Why can't he do a tirade where he tears out all his hair? And underneath is a pelt and he has terrorist underwear. I've even heard he's ruining the country. He claims he is a Christian, but his middle name's Hussein. We all know he's a liberal, which gives me enormous pain. I don't think he is fooling anyone with half a brain. Obama's not an asset to the country. I'd like to say a word on his behalf. Say it, Brother Beck. Obama makes me laugh. Ha 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 I'm so scared of this country. How do you solve a problem like Obama? How do you bring a naughty liberal down? How do you find a word that means Obama? A radical clown, a Muslim extremist, a clown. Many attacks, you know, you'll have to pay soon. Many reforms, you know, he'd like to push. But how do you make him learn and listen to your concern? How do you make Obama more like Bush? Oh, how do you solve a problem like those liberals? How do you kick that dirty liberal tush? Welcome back to The Beck Factor. Today we investigate just how leftist is National Public Radio. Let's find out. We all know that NPR is just a bunch of partisan mumbo-jumbo, taking quotes out of context. It's just a mess. But we have uncovered candid clips from NPR reporter Sherelle's to Stone's personal YouTube channel that reveals some shocking confessions. Take a look at this first clip. I think that we should legalize marijuana so we can all get high. Strictly the party line with these people. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're not gonna believe this next one. I joined Al-Qaeda. I hate the United States of America. Beware the far left in this country. They will find you and lure you in with promises of welfare and social progress. And then they'll kill you and eat you. In the end, I didn't really get any ideas for an actual sketch, but it really opened my eyes.